what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today's video i am going to go over limited slip differential otherwise known as lsd uh, this was a requested video so i'm gonna try to keep it nice and simple as always you know no scientific stuff here you know we're not here to earn a degree on lsd so let's get started As always, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and click that notification bell. Um, I want to go over four different types of differentials. First thing, you'll see this in most common, you know, in most, most of the cars out there, they're standard open differentials, right? Then the next one would be Torsen LSD. One after that will be the 1.5 way clutch type and the two way clutch type. Let's get started and I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, so as you can see, I have some diagrams up here to help me explain how these differentials work. So what is the purpose of a differential? The reason you want a differential is because you want to be able to vary the speed of the wheel from your left to your right. And why would you want to do that? The reason you want to do that is because you want the car to turn smoothly. Okay, so with that said, 99% of the cars out there that people are daily driving um, do not have any sort of LSD. They have what we call open differential. What does an open differential do? So let's take a look at right here. If you look at the two circles I have right here, let's imagine there are like let, let's imagine this is a car you know going in circles so this is your inner wheel okay and this is your outer wheel in order for the car to make a full circle from where it started the outer wheel would have to have a faster speed than the inner wheel does that make sense because it takes less time to go around a smaller circle than it does to go around the larger circle right so whatever is in the outside needs to spin faster in order to keep up with whatever is on the inside now by having a differential it allows this to happen so your inner wheel is going to spin slower compared to your outer wheel and that's why when you turn on any of the new modern cars you're not going to have any type of noise or skipping or anything like that now what happens if both wheels spin at the same time what's going to happen is when you're turning your inside wheel is going to sit there and do literally a burnout because this is spinning at the same rate as the as the outside wheel but it's not really going anywhere so it's going to sit there and burn out while your outside wheel is turning at the same rate as the inner inner wheel and that makes for a lot of noise makes for a lot of strain on the on the components you know, it's just not the greatest idea. Um, you'll see this in a lot of people that weld their differentials. I'm sure you have heard that term before from the guys who drift. Um, instead of buying, you know, a two-way clutch type LSD, which is meant for drifting, they would go out and just take their open diff and weld it together. So it spins the same amount of rate on both wheels at all speeds. Yes, this works. If you're driving your car at full speed drifting at all times, but if you're trying to street drive the cars like this and, you know, trying to pull in and out of parking lots, it's just silly because your inner wheel or inner tire is going to be squealing at all times for you to do simple maneuvers. Okay. So that's why open differential exists. Open differential exists for regular cars to make corners without any issue. Now, the downfall of an open differential. What open differential does is it actually sends the power to the wheel that has the least resistance. What do I mean by that? So if you take a look at here, this is your drive shaft and this, you know, this is the axle going to your left wheel. This is the axle going to your right wheel, right? Okay, what's going to happen? Let's say on your right wheel, there's a patch of ice. Okay, on your left wheel, it's just nice, solid, 
asphalt. Obviously, you're going to have more traction on the left side. And you're going to have less traction on the right side. Open differential, however, sends power to the side that has least resistance, meaning the power is going to be sent to the side that has the ice, meaning your core is going to sit there and spin and spin and spin and spin and spin, and it will not be able to get out of the situation that it's in. Now, that's where torsion type LSD comes into play. Um, torsion type LSD. Torsion type LSD, as seen here. This is the most common type of LSD you will see in factory LSD vehicles. So a lot of the performance cars um, and even like trucks, um, some SUVs, the cars that are expected to either be performance driven or driven in harsh weather tend to come with torsion type LSDs. What does the torsion type LSD do that's different than the open differential? Now, it does everything the same as the open differential as, you know, making the inner wheel spin slower than the outer wheel, allowing you to turn without making any noise, without clicking, without binding, you know, without squealing your tires. But the one big thing that torsion type LSD does different is in this situation where the asphalt is on your left and the ice is on your right, instead of sending power to the wheel that's losing traction it actually sends power to the wheel that's getting more traction okay so this allows you to actually get out of the situation have more control of the vehicle and potentially have power to both wheels at the same time although differentiating the amount of power it gets from um it gets to the two different wheels now what's the what's the downside to a torsion type then right it sounds like the perfect thing to get because there's no noise it turns like an open differential. And when you get stuck in a sit sticky situation or slippery situation, as I demonstrated, it gets you out of it. So it's perfect, right? Well, there's also a downside to the torsion type. Now, ice still provides some sort of traction. I mean, it's low traction, but there's some traction, right? But what happens when you have zero traction on that side? So what torsion type does, to just simply put, it basically multiplies the torque that's put onto your weak side or the the ice side, multiplies by about four times the amount of torque onto the side that has better traction. So meaning, let's just say this side has a traction of one. That means this side is going to have traction of four. That's how it puts the power down, and this basically moves the car away from the ice situation. But let's say this wheel has completely come off the ground. That means this side has zero traction. What's four times zero? That means also zero. So at that point, your car is just literally sitting there and spinning on the side that has no traction. So if you see an LSD car, and let's say it's three wheeling onto this you know, like an on-ramp of some sort. Like if you're going up a hill into a parking lot and it's at a crazy angle, so you're trying to not get stuck and scrape your front bumper and your rear wheel comes off, you're going to sit there and just teeter-totter and that wheel that's sitting in the air is just going to spin, spin, spin. And the wheel that's actually touching the ground is not going to spin at all. So that is the downfall of torsion type LSD. Now, how many times are you going to run into that situation? Probably almost never. I mean, you technically could, but almost never. <coughs> so that's why, you know, as for street driving, you know, having occasional fun at the track and things like that, torsion type LSD is definitely a good way to go. Also, the advantage to a torsion type LSD is there's literally almost no maintenance. It's just like the open differential. It's all gear based. Um, you just follow the OEM um maintenance schedule so if they have you drain out the differential you know every fifty thousand miles or however many miles they say that's all you really have to do there's nothing to change in there you don't have to change any clutches or things like that now the upgrade from this i say upgrade but that's that really depends on how you're using the car so if you're really building the car for performance you know you're going out there and you want to actually race it almost 90 percent of the time on the track or you want to drift it, 
you're going to start to look away from torsion type LSD because let's say you're trying to drift the car. When you're drifting and you throw the car into a corner, there's a good chance from the weight shift, one of the wheels actually might come off the ground for a split second. And when it does, you're going to lose power to the wheel that's on the ground and your drift is ruined. Okay, that's where the clutch type LSDs come in. Clutch type LSDs. Let's take a look at these. There are two, two separate types, 1.5-way and 2-way. But look, before I get to the differences, let's take a look at what the difference between the clutch type and the torsion type is. Clutch type doesn't matter if you have zero traction on this side. Clutch type will always have even amount of power going to both sides. Okay? So the clutch type is essentially, in a way, a welded differential to a sense, to a point, that both wheels get the same amount of torque. All right. So with that said, with that said, it does still have some slippage. It's not like the welded diff where there's zero slippage and you're going to have issues turning. The clutch types do have some slippage when you're turning, but it's not as smooth as torsion type. So when you're in a parking lot, you know, trying to maneuver back and forth, you're going to hear a lot of clicking, a lot of snapping. Just a lot of noise that comes from the rear differential as it's trying to slip one side and trying to get the other side going. You know, it's it's all mechanical. It's not like software driven. So it it does give, but it doesn't give enough for it to be a really smooth transition. But with that said, if you're racing the car, you're going to have better stability because now you can actually throw the car into the corners and not have to worry about losing traction on one of your drive wheels because no matter what wheel is on the ground you're always going to have the same amount of torque going to the same wheels okay so 1.5 way versus 2 way what's the difference there then the difference between 1.5 and 2 way when they talk about the ways so one way means it's lsd while you're accelerating two way means it's LSD while you're accelerating and decelerating, okay? So when there's less torque or less load on the differential itself, it basically means it's decelerating, right? When you're letting off the throttle, there's going to be less torque on the drive shaft, less torque onto the LSD, and you're decelerating. With a 1.5 way, there is still some LSD affected, but it's not full-time LSD like two ways are. Two ways are full-time LSD, no matter what, accelerating, decelerating. So with that, 1.5 way is more suitable for road course racing, where you're doing a lot of cornering and you do want the power transfer to go from one side to the other more smoothly, um, especially during decels. If you're going into a corner, you want to be able to let off and let that LSD kind of ease out of being a full two-way and when you take a corner you know let let the let it slip as much as possible so that you can take that corner nice and easily and then as you accelerate both wheels lock up and go into a full motion to get you out of the corner as fast as possible with a two-way this is the most common used lsd for drifting because two-way means you're going to have even torque during decel and during acceleration. So you're throwing the car into a corner, you're you're hammering the throttle down, you're going to have the exact same amount of torque going to the wheels, both left and right, for you to be able to control that drift. And you can ease in and out of throttle and use the throttle to control your drift. And whenever you get off the throttle, whereas a 1.5 way would actually differentiate the power going from left to right, the two-way is still going to keep the same torque going to both left and the right wheel, giving you more control over your slide. Okay? Now, then most people are going to say, I think I'm going to go with the 1.5 way for my street driving. I say, don't do that because these clutch types, there's also downs, downsides to them as well. Um, downsides to clutch type is they wear out. You know, just like regular clutches that you find in your transmissions they will wear out over time and you need to um, change the clutch clutches out also you need to do more frequent um, fluid changes because clutch types 
causing dust and all the particles to come out and things like that. So it does get dirty over there. So you do need to change that out more often. There's more maintenance involved and it is a louder system. Like I said, you'll hear clicks and bangs and things like that from your um, your differential as you're doing slow cornering, you know, within parking lots and maneuvers, things like that. So for, for day-to-day use, it's really not recommended that you use a clutch type. This is really more for performance driving purposes. So if you're going to use the core for racing specifically, then clutch type is what you want to look into. And depending on what type of racing, like I said, if you're doing performance road courses, 1.5 way is the way to go. If you're doing full-time drift car, two way is the way to go. If you're just doing performance driving on the weekends and having fun, you know, on the streets and just having a daily that's more fun to drive, the OEM Torsen type is definitely the one you want to go with. Just because you don't want to have a car that sounds like it's broken every time you're in a parking lot pulling in and out of a out of a spot, you know, everybody looking at you weird because I mean obviously you're not using a 1.5 way LSD on the street. All right. I hope that clears some things up for you on what type of clutches, um, uh, what type of LSDs there are out there, why you need a certain LSD, why even an open differential exists in the per- in this world of cars. Um, as always, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, if you have any more questions that I haven't answered, you know, definitely comment below. If you have not done so yet, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Yeah.